This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit. Today I'm going to talk about, I guess my subject is going to be tucked away. And I'm not quite sure this picture is representing that, but that's what I came up with. So that's what you got. Something a little tucked away in the grass somewhere. Makes me think of my poem that I remembered by, memorized by Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass. I'll have to see about doing that for one of these episodes, just reciting that poem. It's a long poem. Anyway, I... So tucked away, what's tucked away, what's tucked away? I was thinking about, I've, I had several thoughts for today kind of come through my mind and one of them was, hey Tony, why don't you talk about healing? And I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm not so sure I'm a big fan of that word particularly when because it gets misinterpreted a lot of times um, so and I don't know how that I would connect it with R maybe cathar cathartic I can't hardly pronounce the word so I'm not going to use that so I came up with tucked away and I've titled a few of my paintings Tucked Away. And there really wasn't anything too deep that I was thinking when I titled these paintings that. It was just more of a feeling that the painting gave me. Just something tucked away nice and quietly in a spot on the painting and I like what I got going on here I'm not sure what it is but I know it's there I know it's tucked away just for me and that's really the feeling I have when I think about my life particularly I think we all have very unique gifts that are tucked away and the reason we tuck them away is because they are unique they're unique to us and so they're not necessarily understood by others around us so we kind of tuck them away we know they're where they're at we know especially when somebody else might point to it we get excited oh, you see what I have that gift because we all have something we all have a gift tucked away my gift has been, you know, a process of getting to know my, my gift, but I've come to find that it has several qualities to it. One is intimacy, and that's intimacy with the subtle parts of myself, the subtle bodies, the emotional and mental parts of myself I've created an intimacy with that an awareness and I have the ability to focus quite intensely it allows me to do things like this with my art And 
being in tune with my emotions. Gives a can lead to some freedom in my life, having a an awareness of those emotions and how they're playing a role in in my life, and all those things coming together in some kind of mastery of the energetic connection of all of it. And, you know, that's just something I have a sense of. It's something that I'm aware of for myself. And it's not always easy to describe what that is. And I think we all, like I said, have those parts of ourselves that are unique. I've heard somebody talk about an artist not knowing what they're doing actually being a good thing. It's the whole point of creating art is you're bringing something into the world that is unknown. It's unknown for yourself. That's what the exploration is. That's what the creativity is. Our gifts are that way. So what what is I talked about healing? What does it have to do with healing? Because for me, that process of becoming intimate with the inner workings of my mind or my emotions kind of getting into this painting here losing my train of thought Just wanting to kind of do something a little bit different. It takes some focus. So let's see if, if I can bring this together. I had a dream last night couple of dreams probably more than that but it started off with if you've seen the movie alien is it aliens or alien i don't remember there's a bunch of the movies i'm talking about the first one well, i had an alien in my house a little baby alien and I knew what it was when it was hatching out of this egg. So I threw it outside. And if you've seen the movie, you see that these aliens grow quite quickly. So this one did that. Even though I threw it outside the house, it started to break into the house. And there was no stopping it. We hid away and the bedroom and tried to protect ourselves but there was just no way of keeping this alien away my dad came over we had the idea well you know by that time the alien had grown to into a mother it was already having eggs of her own so we knew that it was kind of a lost cause to stay there. He said, why don't we go over to your house, Dad? So there's no way we're going to be able to protect ourselves from these other, these 
these alien, these eggs that are about to hatch. <laughs> They'll grow real fast. And then I realized, well, the whole world's going to have these aliens in no time. So even if we go over to my dad's house, try to hide away, it's just no way to win. Sometimes that's the way it is with deep hidden motions that are tucked away. It can feel that way for us. And my dream turned into a, another dream where I was at a party at somebody else's house. And a lot going on and trying to get myself comfortable. I needed to use the bathroom. I wanted to find a quiet place. So I found this bathroom in this house kind of hidden away so I'd have some privacy, but there was other there were other people who wanted the same thing. <laughs> needed to use the bathroom, but I got there first and quickly realized this was a very neglected bathroom. So I decided to get it all cleaned up and then it turned into a big, big job, messy job. I won't go into the details, but that got me thinking about healing too. There's this part of life that happens. I mean, we eat. And there's another part of that process of eating and getting nutrition that we tend to go, oh, gross. <laughs> well, I think that's the same thing that happens too for the healing process. Oh, gross. Once you start to get intimate with these parts of yourself that you've tucked away, you begin to realize, this is at least for myself, I'm saying you, you have your own unique experience of the world, so for me, I have come to find that it's all energy, it's all life, and the real thing that's tucked away in all of it. One of the big insights that I've had around healing emotional energy is that there's nothing really wrong to be healed. It's all energy. It's all bringing forth life. Yeah, there's this feeling of healing that does happen in that transformation. But I feel like it's something that comes out of finding the real thing we're all looking for that we've tucked away. And that's our that's the light within. It's the essence of who we are. It's that source energy, it's who we really are. Tuning into that, healing just happens. It's part of a process. So I drove up to Traverse City yesterday. I was enjoying the snow melting, seeing some trees within these road uh, planted forests of pine trees within those I could see tucked away some trees that had been left to grow it's 
So it got me thinking about this whole subject of being tucked away. What's tucked away in you? What's tucked away for you? A gift that you have to bring to the world that's unique to you. See if you can locate that. Find the life force within you that allows it to come forward. And get out your own brushes. We'll see you tomorrow.